Well, just when you thought there couldn't be any more ridiculous groups in America, you find out, surprise, surprise, there's now a group called the Sovereign Citizens Group, who, quite frankly, are incredibly disturbing because not only have they are they the ones that are committing violence and acts of terrorism and as, as a result have now been put on the FBI watch list but <coughs> these people basically think that if they don't think a law is fair that they can just disregard it so as far as they're concerned if they don't think that, you know, the speed limit is an acceptable law, to them, they can break it. And surprise, surprise, Clive and Bundy is exactly one of these people. As far as he's concerned, he shouldn't have to pay this $1 million. But let's face it, I think that even if the BLM did hand over that exact piece of land to the state, Clive and Bundy would still refuse to pay for use of the land. Not only that, but surprise, surprise, starting today, or should I say tomorrow, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure on the time frame what it is in America right now, but Operation American Spring. Yes, because when your party loses and you fail to uh, win the war of ideas and words, What's better, instead of continuing that and try to convince people that your argument's right, nope, just pick up a weapon. That's right. Because, believe it or not, apparently, according to Operation American Spring, over one, at least about 10 million Americans are going to attend an attempt to oust Obama and other such high officials and basically replace them with their own Oh, you know, I'm sorry, but that's never going to happen. These people couldn't attract people to a barbecue, let alone, let alone get 10 million people to turn up in Washington, D.C. to support their lunacy cause. Because this is what I've said, must have been last year when I made it, and I made a video called What If President Jones, where I said, what if these idiots actually ever got in? They wouldn't make... Any, any sense of better. They don't even know what it's like to actually live in a proper, you know, dictatorial state where they are oppressed. You know, these people, God forbid, should they ever actually get into power, would be, would create a system so oppressive and deprive people of so many rights, they wouldn't care. Because as far as they're concerned, this is just a temp temper tantrum. And it just happens to be called Operation American Spring. And quite frankly, it's absolutely ridiculous. Because compared to the Arab Spring, where the countries did have legitimate grievances and had for years been trying to solve and change things democratically, but had been able to, had finally had to resolve to these protests, which... Many of them did turn violent, some didn't. But now, oh yeah, let's go. Fuck it, revolution. Who cares about, you know, the rest of, you know, the other majority? So, screw them, you know. This isn't a thing we call a democracy. That's a dictatorship where you do whatever the hell you want because, well, it feels right to me. And I'm sorry, but... Again, you see this all the time where, as far as they're concerned, if you don't, don't support them and their ideas, you don't deserve any freedom, liberty, or any rights. And this is what, I, again, I was talking about over a year ago. That if these people ever did get into power, sod everyone else. You know, let's face that, say, like, they did get into power. An example, in Egypt, where protests started again because they were dissatisfied with the government. Imagine if these people achieved their objective, got the people they wanted in power, and then all of a sudden the the proper 
the rest of Amer the Americans who didn't support them originally came back, started protesting, what would happen? It would be an absolute bloodbath because these people do not care. Their first response to any situation is, sod it, I'll just get my gun. I'm sorry, but it's an absolute lunacy and I'm sorry, these people that identify as as sovereign citizens and think that they can just get away with not having to obey laws because they think it's unconstitutional. I'm sorry, there are better ways to do it than just say, you know, sod it. Fight it in the court. Do it properly. Don't just say, sod it, grab your gun. You know, you've only got to look at Clive and Bundy, who basically picked up a skull and, you know, said, gee, I wish, you know, um, you know, this was Harry Reid or whatever he said, but, you know, he implied that he was, you know, federal workers and apparently, again, people have been saying that, you know, he's been inciting these militias to, to do violence for him. Remember, the whole original point and why the BLM turned up in the first place armed was because he had made threats of violence against them. Remember that. Because that's something no one wants to acknowledge. You know, what do you expect when you threaten a, a federal organisation, hey?